what ignites the spark of evil within the human heart? Is it a deeply ingrained trait or a sinister flame kindled by circumstance and environment? When we talk about evil in the context of psychology, we don't label behaviors as such. Instead, we're more interested in understanding the whys and hows. We ask whether evil is a concrete state of being or simply an extreme version of human behavior that's taken a wrong turn. Today, we delve into the various psychological theories that seek to shed light on the darker corners of the human psyche. The concept of evil often finds itself caught in the crossfire of the nature versus nurture debate. Is a person born evil or do their life experiences shape them into becoming so? It's a question that continues to divide opinion. Philip Zimbardo's Lucifer Effect offers a compelling argument for the environmental influence on evil behavior. His infamous Stanford prison experiment revealed how power dynamics and anonymity could turn ordinary individuals into agents of cruelty and oppression. Then we have the Dark Triad, a personality model that points to three traits as potential harbingers of malevolent behavior, narcissism, Machiavellianism, and psychopathy. Each of these traits contributes to a lack of empathy, leading to manipulative or aggressive actions. Bandura's theory of moral disengagement offers another perspective, explaining how individuals rationalize their harmful actions, distancing themselves from the consequences and dehumanizing their victims. Experiments like Milgram's obedience study showcased the disturbing ease with which people obey authority, even when it contradicts their personal morals. This experiment, alongside the Stanford prison experiment, underscores the powerful influence of situational factors on behavior. Our understanding of evil is further muddled when we consider real world examples from historical figures responsible for genocides to contemporary criminals. Analyzing their actions through the lens of these psychological theories provides insights while simultaneously raising more questions about our capacity for evil. Understanding the complexity of evil behaviors invites a conversation about mitigation and prevention. Education, nurturing empathy, and societal reforms play a vital role in addressing the roots of harmful behavior. It's not about making excuses, but about understanding to prevent future harm. In Nadine, in conclusion, the psychology of evil is a complex maze of moral, societal, and personal conundrums. By examining the darker side of human nature, we strive not only to understand, but also to find ways to counteract and heal the scars left by such actions. The potential for great good exists within us, just as does the potential for evil. Recognizing this duality is the first step towards creating a more empathetic and just world. Now, we'd like to hear your thoughts. Do you believe that understanding these darker aspects of human behavior can usher in positive change? Share your viewpoints in the comments below. If you found this exploration enlightening, please like, share, and subscribe for more content that delves deep into the mysteries of the human mind.